love filter coffee. Good morning guys, I hope you're all doing well. It is Good Friday today for me, so we are celebrating Easter Bank holiday weekend in lockdown. Woo! I thought I would vlog this weekend. I do have a few things that I'm throwing in the mix to make Easter fun. We're gonna do a huge Easter egg review on Sunday. We've got a couple of family and friends pub quizzes via Zoom. If you guys haven't seen, pretty much everyone is doing that. It's such a great, fun little thing to kind of break up the week. Before I go any further with this vlog, I did just want to mention one quick thing, but one very important thing. So YouTube are running a campaign, which is like the hashtag stay home, hashtag YouTubers for NHS heroes, which is a campaign whereby YouTubers can opt to donate their AdSense from a video to our NHS hero. So I'll leave a direct link below to where I'm gonna be donating the money for the AdSense from this video. So if you do want to give a monetary donation, then all the information will be in that link in the description box. Alternatively, by viewing the ads that are on this video, you will be ranking up those donations because I don't know if you know or not. One of the ways that I get paid every month from YouTube is via the ads. So the ads placed on this video, usually the skippable ads, you can skip ads. Well, the longer that you watch that advert for, the more money I will earn. So by watching the adverts rather than skipping them, you're ranking up those earnings and donations towards the NHS hero. So if you want to be included and if you want to donate via your eyes all you have to do is watch the adverts within this video so i'm going to place an ad here before we get started with the vlog and then the way that i'm going to do it is break up each day so at the end of today i'll insert an ad at the end of saturday i'll insert an ad and at the end of sunday i'll insert an ad and all you have to do is watch it if you've not already grabbed yourself a coffee to relax unwind enjoy the rest of this vlog then please do so now Proper poached eggs. No, we don't. What are you doing it for the vlog? You should have them in a, pa a, a bigger pan, really. How do you like your eggs in the morning? Don't cough. <coughs> I saw a funny meme that was saying it's like more embarrassing now to cough in public than it is to fart in public. Got the stretch marks. Oh yeah. Is that decaffeinated coffee for you, or is it normal coffee? Why do you think it's decaf? Uh, I think it's decaf. No, I finished off your continental one. Yeah. It's only strength three though. Mm. And there wasn't much left in it. Gareth. Gareth. I wonder if anyone will get that in it, Gareth. Okay, this is just a quick sneak peek of what we have coming up on Sunday. Easter egg review. OMG. We've got some luxury, we've got some budget, we've got some vegan. I'm very excited. Morning y'all now, y'all. There's gonna be a lot of food in this vlog. I'm slow roast like a lamb. Slow roast like a lamb. Oh, that's like a tongue twister. Slow roast like a lamb on Sunday for our like Easter Sunday roast. Happy with that? Get that free. Tom always likes his a little runny than mine. Perfect. Oh, yummy. Um, obviously all the Easter chocolates. We got some that I'm very excited about. We've got pizzas for pizza Saturday night. We're gonna have pizzas tomorrow night. And um, we got to go with it a side of mac and cheese bites and these little chicken nugget things which look delicious. like midday and because we ate a bit earlier than what we usually would i got a little bit peckish so rather than eat i'm gonna drink something because quite often you mistake thirst for hunger so i'm gonna have a pint of water but also i'm gonna make this tiktok coffee where can i put you need instant coffee 
and sugar, two tablespoons of that and two tablespoons of sugar. Whisk. in the milk. I feel like I needed to whisk it just a little bit more. Let me just grab a straw. Do you want to try my TikTok coffee? TikTok? Yeah. What's TikTok coffee? This is TikTok coffee. Why is it TikTok coffee? It's like an Instagram worthy coffee. Oh, nice. I'll just mix it up a little bit so you get a bit. Go for it. You get a bit more coffee. It's like an iced coffee. Do you like that? It's all right, isn't it? Mmm. Ooh. Let me just try the actual froth bit. Oh Christ, that's a bit, a bit strong. Cheers. So I'm actually like double filming today. I'm filming my big beauty clear out, which I'm doing for Sunday's video. There's a lot to do, so I am cracking on with that today. That is today's mission, but I just thought I'd pause, have a bit of a break, show you some new in bits that I received yesterday. As you guys know, I love the Foreo devices. I use the Luna 3 and the UFO Smartmaster device. They've got a new one, UFO 2, so I'm excited to give that a try, and this is their Intensive Caviar Fusion. I also got from Glossy Box a little cute Easter egg which is filled with a load of goodies. So thank you so much to Glossy Box for sending me this. Ginger Root Moisturiser, Eye Gels, Nail Polish, Self Tan, Glam Glow Mini Mask. Ooh, from Illamasqua, we've got a lipstick in Meteor, which is a really nice rose. And then I was very excited to receive this from Laura Mercier. I had no idea it was coming. Let me know if you guys have ever tried Laura Mercier. I know Lorna Lux is a fan, so it's good enough for her. The Perfect Cream Moisturiser. Purifying Micellar Water. A nice lip balm, I think this is. Yeah, let's give this a try now. An Illuminating Eye Cream. A Balancing Foaming Cleanser. So thank you so much to all the brands for sending me some goodies. I also had this arrived from AYM. It's a great brand for if you're a fan of the basics. They are sending me some more bits as well actually so I might do a full-on try on once they're all here but I thought I'd just show you the bits that they've included for now. So this is just a cute little black basic crop. I got that in a medium and I also got these to kind of go with that little crop top. They are corset kind of gym style shorts with a little lace up detailing at the back there. And then they also, lastly, in this package, sent this little basic strappy crop top. Again, in a medium and adjustable straps as well, which is handy. It is dinner time and I'm just cooking up. I have chopped up some mushrooms, onion, garlic, and bacon. Currently got the chicken and then we're gonna throw in some pasta. Tom's just opened this, so I think I might pour myself a glass. Watch Gogglebox, eat all the snacks because it's a good Friday. <laughs> what did you say? You made a funnies. I made a funnies? Yeah. What, because I said it's a good yeah. Friday. Today is a good Friday. And yes, we serve our wine in gin bowls. What, what are they called, gin? Balloons. Balloons, because we don't have wine glasses. How, how's the chicken looking? Don't overcook it, oh yeah. It's not, it's fine. Oh, I just Sit back down. Come on, let's have a look at oh, it. Okay. What are you adding to it then? Flour that. To thicken it? Yeah. That is the extent of my wine. What should we cheers to? Cheers to all the NHS heroes and... Oh, what? Oh, hang on a minute. I fully support the NHS and all this, but I think there's a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon to get... Look at me, I support the NHS too, but really I complain about it. I never complain about the NHS though, no. ever. So cheers to you guys. 
So all I've done is added some water and then Tom's just about to pop in some chicken stock. What is that? <gasps> I'll get that. <laughs> And there we have it. Added a few peas in there just to get some greens in. You can see one down there. Oh yeah, we like to use thigh meat as well, don't we? It's the only way. The only way. Got my dressing gown on. Tom is hosting a cricket quiz. Oh my God, cricket boys are so loud when they get together. So I'm just watching some goggle box and I'm just doing a word search in my Mrs. Hinch activity journal. Can you hear him shouting? I don't know if you can or not. What is this? Has anyone seen this? Mr. Motivator. So did someone used to, is he like on now? Or he used to be on TV? I've never heard of him. Just a reminder, I'm just gonna pop an ad if you want to donate as much money as possible via my AdSense. Just watch the whole ad in full. Good morning. It's Saturday. I'm just gonna nip to the post office. I have to um, return egg box. So Tom is actually at his uh, building development all day today show you guys a bit of an update on that and how he's getting on and then also nip to the shop as well and get some food for this weekend some veggies and stuff for our roast dinner tomorrow and i'm also going to be picking up some bottles of wine or chocolates or something something as like a gesture of goodwill because today it's going to be making quite a lot of noise so just as like a thanks for putting up with us here he is can you see him at the top there? That is their task for today. Bring that entire back wall down. So it's a fair job. We'll see how they get on by the end of today. Meanwhile, I've got some deliveries of them. I've brought them all sausage sandwiches. It's a bit of a morale boost, I reckon. So they've been getting all their deliveries before lockdown. Just a little tour. Whoa. Hello. Smile for the camera. Two meters free. All right, how do I get out of here? <sighs> Rough. Aldi was pretty much empty for a Saturday morning. A lot of other supermarkets is usually like a big queue, but there's absolutely no one there. So I picked up six bottles of wine for some local residents, and also picked up. Or three of each. Maybe tie a little ribbon. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Let me see what we have. I found these little tags. I just hand write a little message on these. Like that. With some gold ribbon. <laughs> we'll see how we go. And there we have what it'll look like. Three done, three to go. Et voila, fini. So I just wanted to show you what I'm listening to this month on Audible and I always listen to um, an audiobook when I'm out on a run or a walk because A, I find it really distracting and kind of you take away from the fact that you're on a walk or you're doing exercise but B, I'm part of a book club, uh, which I've mentioned before, and if I don't listen to it on a walk, I never listen to it. And I would buy the hard copies of books. To be honest with you, I only ever really read a hard copy of a book when on holiday, so this just helps me keep reading at least one book a month. These as well are incredible. These are the AirPod Pros, which I got before going to South Africa. What I like about these and what I just wanted to mention is if, like me, you find that when you're out and about, you actually like listening to the birds, listening to the water. I don't know, just the spring sounds. Um, and I actually like to listen to nature and everything. I used to just not listen to audiobooks or music or anything like that. But these are so good because they have a function called transparency. 
which is on now and I can hear everything as if I've got nothing in my ears so it draws the sound from outside in so it's literally as clear as if I didn't have anything plugged into my ear right now so I can listen to the outside world at the same time as listening to an audiobook which is great because it's safer because if you can hear you can hear like cars passing or anything like that but yeah, I'm still listening to an audiobook and like if anyone's passing and they go, hi, you can I can say hi, like I can hear them. Anyway, I just wanted to share that and yeah, the book that I'm reading currently is Harlan Coben Runaway. He's the author that did Stranger on Netflix, A Stranger, so he I think has a deal with Netflix in terms of doing some of his books, Runaway is one of them, and they're going to become Netflix series, so it's quite a good one to be reading right now, especially if it does come out on Netflix soon. Yeah, that's what I'm listening to, I'm going to get out, I'm not going to take my camera, I will obviously take my phone, so I might get a couple of clips of the beautiful, gorgeous countryside that I have here, and yeah, just because I appreciate it, now more than ever. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. The main thing that keeps me going is getting this as soon as I get home. That is good. Woo! It is hot outside. Time to get this washed. This washed. I'll show you some products that I'm currently loving. But I just need to stretch it out for a second. Oh Christ. Have you ever seen a more glamorous freya? One little tip for hair care, in terms of what I do, people ask how I keep it in good condition, cold shower. And if you don't like a cold shower, like now I'm gonna have a cold shower because I want one, but otherwise I'll have my hot shower, wash my hair and everything, but always rinse my hair with cold water at the very end. In terms of shampoo and conditioner, I'm nearly out of this one. So this is the L'Oreal Suri Expert that I'm gonna use. And this is like a conditioner, but also like a hair mask. So you can just leave it on for an extra minute whilst you shave, wash, do everything else and then you rinse off that after a minute or so. Always going with a purple shampoo as well. Again, nearly out, but this is the one that I'm using, the Provoke Touch of Silver. And then, just before I get in the shower, I'm just gonna, I put on a bit of mascara this morning, so I'm just gonna take some micellar water to remove that. Whew. After I've done a workout, I'll go in with my Foreo Luna 3 and a cleanser. It's one that I'm running out of actually. Elemis Pro Collagen. I like to use this one, as you can tell. I am almost out. I love a balm cleanser because it feels like, look how nice that is. It feels so nice rubbing into the skin. I'm quite, I use it quite liberally as well, actually. I use quite a lot. I'll just wet my Foreo Luna 3 and then use that. We're on. And then, last but not least, these are the two body washes we have in the shower. This one I like to use, it's the Elemis Shower Alexia in Calm. It smells amazing. It's like, um, it's like an oil that you can kind of rub in on your body. And then if I want a real lather up, like if I'm shaving or whatever as well, I'll use just a, whichever one Tom's using. It's usually a Radox one like this. Right, I'll see you guys once I'm all clean and fresh out the shower. Feeling fresh. I'm gonna put on some body moisturizer. This is the one I have been using lately. It's called The Gingerbread Man from Philosophy. Oh, because it was a Christmassy one. It's called The Gingerbread Man. But it's essentially gingerbread. It's got lemongrass in there as well. Oh, it smells amazing. I hope you're doing it right next year. I just take this. 
just moisturize my whole body. This is gonna be my choice of loungewear for this lovely Saturday afternoon. We've got a Zara top, love this kind of like towel material in a gorgeous cream with these joggers that I recently picked up in my recent Primark haul in a small. They're just a really nice, again, thin knit, but in this khaki kind of color. I love khakis and creams together. All right, so now I'm into my loungewear. I'm just gonna pop on some Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is like a moisturizer slash makeup primer, um, or even if you just are having a non-makeup day, it gives a real nice like sheen to your face and really hydrates it and moisturizes it beautifully. I'm, I'm gonna put plenty of this on because after going outside and being like in the fresh air, I always feel then getting back and having a shower, I almost feel a bit like my skin's a bit dehydrated. So I just put plenty on. Bring it down the neck a bit. And now I'm gonna move on to my hair and I have been using this product from Red Chem, which is great for like protection it's called the extreme anti-snap i get quite a lot of i just put like two pumps ugh, in the palm of my hand i get quite a lot of split ends underneath like here breakage under here so i just put plenty on here but don't really put any on the roots at the front just focus it mainly on the lengths and the ends tangle teaser what on earth did we do before these were created I do not know so I literally just had to answer the door to the postman like this which was not ideal I was gonna quickly try and blend it in I thought oh, <laughs> what's the worst that can happen anyway Break down on what this is, it's just a little contour stick from Amazing Cosmetics and I've just put on a little bit of concealer from Lasting Perfection and this Stila Lingerie Souffle, really nice like base just to wear, you know, like a bit more naturally. I'm just going to rub the little contoury bits in with my foundation brush and then take a smaller brush to do my cheeks, blend that in. So I'm just going to do like a minimal light base of makeup. I always feel a little bit more put together when I wear makeup. So during this whole lockdown period thing, quarantine, whatever it is, uh, self-isolation, working from home, that kind of thing, I always try and put a little bit of makeup on. Don't get me wrong, I do have the odd day where I will go completely makeup free and just have like um, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I just feel, I feel more productive. I feel better about myself. It's like a little boost almost. So I don't see why, why I wouldn't wear a little, like just a little makeup every day. So I'm gonna take the Hoola bronzer just to put a bit of powder on top of that cream contour. Bad angle, but we'll work with it. Just a bit of blush from NARS, this is the one in orgasm. A little illuminating drops, highlighting drops. These are just the iconic ones, which I love. I always put a bit down the bridge of the nose and on the cupid, <laughs> cupid <laughs> cupid's bow as well as the cheekbones. Hourglass Cosmetics brow pencil. This is in the shade Soft Brunette. I've signed up to the Hey You subscription on Amazon Prime, which is like three ninety nine a month, but there's a 30 day free trial. And I had to watch Kardashians after that big bust up, that actual physical fight between Kim and Courtney. So uh, yeah, I'm just on episode one of that at the minute and just watching that before Tom gets back home this evening for pizza. Bit of brow gel just to hold that in place. And this is the Benefit Gimme Brow, which has a tint to it, which is quite nice because it just adds again a little more, more colour and definition. And this is in the shade 
three. The brown stick in truffle is really nice just to add underneath the brow bone or on the brow bone. Just as an extra like pop of highlight and then also a little bit in the inner corner of the eyes just to brighten them up. Some mascara, this is the Legendary Lashes Volume 2 from Charlotte Tilbury. I do love Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I'll leave all these products listed so that if you're after trying any new products out and you see anything you like, I will leave direct links for you to shop through below in the description box. This is my favourite lip combination. So it's number 7 lip liner in Nude. just overdraw slightly in the middle and then kind of fill it in a little bit as well I'm just gonna pop on a lip balm hydrating lip balm from Laura Mercier and just pop that on top and here are the finished lips I'm just gonna go in with one last facial spritz mist spray because they feel amazing and it helps set everything this is the pixie glow mist and this has been my everyday quarantine makeup just remember first one arrived didn't they so i think i know what this is i think it's from a brand called trench london who reached out and wanted to send me one of their coats oh god this is heavy look at this packaging so excited this is called the Sloan trench and they do it in a variety of colors I've got the all black on black which looks like so very well made the quality is really really good it's very thick and like heavy duty I loved this under the collar it says trench can you see that I got it in a size 10 a uh, size medium sorry thank you so so much to the brand for sending me that Houston we have a problem the whole wall has come down. Been a few hours and I am so excited for pizza night. Also going to light my candles. This is like on the verge of running out now. This winter one from White Company which I'm kind of glad about because I want to start the next one which is ginger and the last one which is also winter so that is what the uh room smells like saturday night i've noticed britain's got talent starts again tonight as well but quiz night takes priority pizza's first Ooh. oh god i'm tripping all over the place and there he is are you gonna have a shower and i'll pop these pizzas in yeah at yeah. uh, tom <laughs> I'm vlogging. Oh, he's getting naked in the front room. Bon appetit. We've got a little crazy salad there as well. Mostly to perform chemical analysis and suspecting narcotics. Um, they're also helping patients with their patients. Oh, isn't it? Beautiful move like that, wasn't it? Just very good. Was that a piece of egg that you've been holding back from me? It's a normal life. Thirty-five. Have you been eating that? Looks like Billy's home. It does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw you walking the dog earlier, Tupper. Being a, a Mercedes. Yeah. I sort of waved and then I thought, well, I did see, yeah, as you drove. That was me. I like your hats. No. We're just having fun. Saturday night. Do, 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 do. How does everyone crack your Easter egg? I like to do Head it perfectly ball. in half. Headbutt, that's what I do. Headbutt. Yeah, it's pretty thick. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Sure. That's 
It's a country though, isn't it? Oh no, there was another one of them. We lost. <laughs> that means we're in charge for next week's pub quiz. So we're going to call it a night here. Again, just a friendly reminder if you want to get involved and help raise as much money as possible. I'm going to insert an ad here before we wake up tomorrow for Easter Sunday if you want to watch it through all the way. It's more money for charity. Happy Easter. Where to begin? I'm a bit overwhelmed. I mean, I'm always in the mood for chocolate, but I'm not that... Like, oh yeah, chocolate right now. Are you not? Well, it's very early. Yeah. Sunday morning. Happy Easter. I am like a levitating head. Yeah, I'll get on your knees. I'm miles above. My head's above the camera. No, I just slouch down a bit. Go, ooh, like this. Ooh, what's chocolate now? Let's get cracking. Let's get opening. So we've got... Some M&S ones, this one I'm excited for, the Blondie. Colin the Caterpillar, Percy Pig. A friend bought me one as well, which is Marble Truffled with Hazelnut Truffle Layer, yum. This one I'm intrigued to try, the one that Tom's looking at because it's free from, so it's vegan. Should we try that one first? And then we've got loads of like little cakes, mini eggs cakes, chocolate wells. These are my favorite, lemon fancies, I love them. Uh, hot cross slices, that's for you that one. Right, lovely. Should we have one of these each now? Might be nice to start on like a cake. Are we trying everything? No, I can't get through everything, surely. Steady, aren't Oh, I don't like that. Kit Kat bunnies or Malteser bunnies, because me, I'm a Malteser bunny and you're Kit Kat bunny, aren't you? Yeah. Let's try one of these. Chocolate and orange mini loaves. Okay. Interesting texture, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> it's quite thick. <laughs> That'd be really nice with the coffee there. Sorry, it's like that though, isn't it? Mm. I'm gonna try the free from first because I'll let you eat that. I want you to try it though, just to see what you think in terms of vegan chocolate. How would you open it? Just get right in. No, how would you open it though? Oh. I feel like I'm not going to be able do to do it. Do it, do it. Oh. Look how thick that chocolate is. You've got to commit to that. <laughs> you in your hair. You've got to commit. Do you know what? That's all right. Try that. Try this chocolate orange. Oh my God, that's well good. That hazelnut layer. <gasps> Mm. This one's for me. Just want to show you the colour of this blonde one. <laughs> there we go. It's like caramel. I love that. Should we try this? I'm getting chocolate out already. <laughs> so I've never seen these before. I don't know if they're new this year, maybe or not, but Ferrero Rocher. It's kind of like copying that. They look like they're in the same factory, to be honest. Like. Probably. They're probably last Lin year's reindeers melted down. Yeah. But Ferrero Rocher is a different flavour to Lint. I reckon it'll be like a Ferrero Rocher. Don't think it'd be like a Mars bar. <laughs> yeah. It's quite thin actually, isn't it? Look how thin that is. Mm. The only thing is, what I love about Ferrero Rocher is the soft inside mm. bit. Do you know what? I'm just craving a Percy Pig. Have you ever had Percy Pigs? No. You've never had a Percy Pig? I used to get Percy Pigs when we were at school all the time. Am I right in saying they're vegan? <laughs> oh, smell no, that. Oh, they, no, honestly, they're well good. Mmm. Mm. Fruity. Made with real fruit I juice. I think they have a vegan version now. Lemon or chocolate well? Definitely not a lemon. Oh. Dry. Dry. I can hear it. <laughs> Sounds dry. He's like, mmm. Fancy, they're not even galaxy. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Smarties oh, buttons. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah, like... Tom's not really big into white chocolate, are you? Oh, yeah. You like them? It is quite sickly white chocolate. I can see why people don't like it. 
But if I just have a little bit of chocolate with like a coffee, I love a white chocolate. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it in yours. No, you try in yours. I can't do it in mine. You've got a big mouth. <laughs> I'm scared of it hitting my tea. Are you gonna get it? I'm gonna get it for you. <sighs> Yay! Right, are we done on our little Easter egg review? Wow, well, you need to put them in the fridge, though, don't you remember? Yeah, see, Tom's a fridge guy, I'm an out of fridge guy. Guy. Girl. I actually think this one's my favourite. This one, it's called the Marbled Truffle Egg, and it's got an actual layer of truffle on the inside. So that is our little Easter egg. Sunday morning, I'm, oh God, Christ. There's some uh, chocolate on the floor here. Three second rule. It's been on there for three seconds. <laughs> We're on our nice countryside walk, dropping off some Easter eggs, enjoying the beautiful countryside, taking in some fresh air before a full on lazy day today. Netflix, chill, roast dinner, Easter eggs. Is that all their land? Yeah. Wow, it's a huge garden. Some big houses on this road. Happy Easter. Oh. Is it a roast time? So I'm just gonna do the potatoes. Woo! That lamb is cooking away nicely. And the kitchen is already an actual mess. So I feel like I might end up having to do a bit of a spleet, spleed, speed clean in the morning. Classic movie on. See if you can guess it. Oh, Harrison Ford starring in. What is it? Temple of Doom. Do you remember what, the bit where he like rips out his heart? And dinner is served. Can I serve the gravy? to just put a little bit on mine. Are you gonna do yours? <laughs> Pub quiz around two. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we we've, we've got to host another one next Saturday because we lost last night, didn't we? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that a really hard. Yeah, good idea. If it's any good. Yeah. <laughs> Round one. How are you doing the Big Brother house? You're all right. You fine getting any talk? Well, um, we can't turn it up. You have to turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> General knowledge. General knowledge. Number one. What is the combined age of Ant and Deck? Oh. oh. <laughs> it's not hard to believe that. Oh. Number two. That's it. What is a baby beaver called? Oh. What is a baby beaver called? I'm going to say this. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. What is the capital of Ukraine? When was the first series of Strictly Come Dancing aired? Oh. Ooh. Sorry, I'll give you a bit more time. Mm. Am I giving you enough time between questions? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be done before past seven. <laughs> <laughs> I can have a drink then. I may yeah. have too much. What is it called when a solid changes into a gas? Farting. In Greek myth, Rhea was the mother of which god? Okay. No. So we have that. Yeah, no, they want to know. Where have you got these from? <laughs> Go on, kill it. They're about to. It's hard. No, it's alright. It's alright. It's like. It's 
we can at yeah. least make an educated guess. I'm not sat here thinking I have no idea, but... I am. Who played the Bond girl in Die Another Day? Oh, oh. I know it. No. I think. Yeah. The cartoon character Pluto is what breed of dog? We didn't lose. Woo! Yeah, that'd be upsetting if we had two quizzes to do. Oi! Oh, in the eye. It's a good one. We we did a riddle round, so I'll give you a couple that we guessed right. Ah. In case anyone wants to get involved. The more you take away, the bigger I become. I am taller when young and shorter when old. We're gonna watch on BBC um, a program called The Nest. It's really good if anyone's interested in a new series. We're so used to like being spoiled with Netflix and stuff that when we have to wait a week for a show. <laughs> Do you agree? What? I said we're spoiled with Netflix and things. So when we have to wait a week, <laughs> ah! No! No! That is disgusting. I will see you guys tomorrow. And again, just another reminder I'm going to insert an ad here if you want to watch it all the way through to donate more money. Good morning, it is Easter Monday and. I thought I would do a quick speed clean this morning just to clean everything up from cooking yesterday. And then Tom is working on his building project at the minute, but he's gonna be back in a couple of hours for breakfast. So I wanna have everything cleaned by then. So I'll put you on a little time lapse. Just wearing these Boohoo workout leggings, which I have to admit I am loving. Quite like wearing gym wear as lounge wear. It kind of motivates me to get going on our like one exercise a day, even if it's just for a walk, if I'm already in some kind of gym wear. There's nothing like that first sip of coffee in the morning. I've got myself a little fondant fancy lemon one for spring. So that is gonna go ahead and conclude this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different with us being pretty much in lockdown over Easter, but if you do still want vlogs nonetheless, then do let me know in the comments below. And, and that was my toast and my cue telling me to Go enjoy my breakfast. Thanks so much for watching this video and I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye guys.